I've spent most of my life alone, or at least feeling alone. But these bonds I've built over the last few years have allowed me to embrace who I truly am. And honestly, I've never felt so alive. Every moment with people that care for you and have love for the person you are can play a vital role in lifting the fog that surrounds everyday life. At the end of the road, it's these moments we share together that will be remembered forever and cherished by all of us forever. What makes our story so great is that we simply couldn't have done it by ourselves. I can only hope someone out there watching this right now can take a step back and truly find love for their life and themselves, because the world, it can be a beautiful thing when looked at through a different pair of eyes. All right, it's set in stone, We're ready to go. We're about one week away from Vermont. Uh, we booked an Airbnb, about 13 of us will be going. Uh, we're all creatives. It's uh, it's gonna be freaking awesome. I'm super stoked. I've been needing something like this because work is stressful and uh, time consuming, which is which is the worst of it because time is something that we all just don't have enough of. So it'll be really nice to uh, just create and make memories for an entire weekend. I'm looking forward to it. Facetime Nard. Probably on the road right now. They're on the way. Well. Here. There he is. There's somebody who answers the phone. What's up, bud? How you doing? Where you, where you guys at? All right. Cool. Real POV of the shit. This guy's documenting what the fuck's going down. Thirteen totally not gay guys in a cabin in the middle of the woods together. We're all just different. fucking different. Fucking different. Everyone in this house is just fucking different. Different. I'm running lines of propane and I don't even smell no propane. This is fucked. I brought fish all the way from Hyannis, Massachusetts. I was up at four in the morning. I caught three black sea bass for everybody. I'm upset. Put them in a pan, sear them. Yeah, I know. Fucking bake them. We'll get some little bread, bread crumbs on them. I'll find the way to your house. It's dark and it's raining, it's nice out. I'll bite my tongue with your friends around. Meet at a ball in a new town. Oh, no. I can't believe that it's going down. It's 6.45 in my head, the lights. They're telling me I have to go now. My car likes to slide when it's wet and my hands are still cramping. Less than they were when around you. It tends all my life <laughs> to <laughs> Spend all my time trying so does Tell myself I'm just as new to you Anxiety likes to control my Trying to tell me I don't see I mean, I am only putting salt on right now. I will put other things on so I understand how this could be misconstrued, this evidence right now. But I, I fucking season steaks. Like, why would they even say that about me? I'll find a way to go home now Under a bridge self-loathing You can't survive without caffeine Hey, no, put your shirt back. <laughs> Man with the same camera. This is what I look like right now. But you can't see me because I'm holding a camera. Yeah, bro. What the fuck is this? Vodka cranberry Red Bull with a bunch of ice and is it all melted? I remember being 12. Bro, grow up with your pants. They're sick, dog. I like eggs. You know, I've been eating them for a long time. I need a beer, what? I need a beer, what? What? Hey, where's my beer, what? I just got a fucking beer, now I don't know where my beer is. Yeah, no, get the boom. We need that. <laughs> we definitely have boom. I'm sorry, no. Probably just spit all over you. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't backed up this hard drive or this laptop in since this year. <laughs> I've never had one of these. Uh, it's actually fucking fire. What do you give it out of 10? I'd say nine out of 10. For seltzers, top of the take line. This. Take that. Is it already He's, going? It's already going. He said nine out of 10. This, nine out of 10.
Oh, <laughs> does it have a face of a nine out of ten? That's a face of a like four. That's horrible. <laughs> what is this? Who drinks these? You are weird. <laughs> The grill doesn't fucking work. I don't know you. What's up? Yeah. Do you want to? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Damn, Hall. I held a really big mall. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's like this big. It's like the size of my cup. Right there. He's right he's right there. He's over there. He's still our friend. He's MPO, like he's part of the group. So uh that this is my favorite film. Yeah, HP5, yeah. that's classic. That's oh favorite. hell yeah, dude. Yeah, that's fucking this is my little baby. Dirty, baby. As we approach the end of our retreat away from the bland routine that is our normal lives, we all realize how blessed we truly are to have each other and experience these small, beautiful moments scattered throughout our lives. I wouldn't trade it for the world, and I don't think anyone else would either. One major thing that's become important to me lately is making sure the ones I love know their love. Such a simple concept can go a long way and make a giant impact on yourself and everyone you decide to put around you. Thank you for watching and being a part of this. I hate making music.